Before we get today's match underway, let me quickly thank Dr. Hindawi, Caleb Massengill, Buzz Laxier, and Alexander Berglund for joining my YouTube channel. I hope I said all your names right. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. And a reminder to anyone cheering on Twitch to use hashtag charity while you do so. I believe that movement is ongoing and active until the 27th of December 2018. And finally, a thank you to our official tournament sponsor again, Gift Your Game. Check out their completely free to use program if you want to get gifts just like this one, except with your goals at the click of a single button. Now, let's get Flakes versus OSM underway. Two players who find themselves at the bottom of the table going into today's match. However, it is OSM who has arguably had a more difficult lineup of opponents in his last five matches. His most recent league win over Kuxer will also give him hope of bouncing back from the foot of the table. It's almost all red for Flakes though, and he'll need to win today to avoid becoming the sole occupant of last place yet again. So without further ado, let's get down to the field. It's Flakes versus OSM. SM in the Manfield Night 5K. A chance for Flakes to finally get his league play started. And a chance for OSM to start to move towards the top of the table, a place where lots of us expected him to be. But that is the start that Flakes was looking for. So OSM gets faked within 10 seconds of the game starting. Very nice challenge there by Flake, staying low, pushing that one all the way through. To start off a game like this with a mind game is something that Flakes has been known to do in the past. He loves to hide behind the ball on 50-50s. So OSM will need to look out for that. OSM's also someone who likes to mix those kind of shots in. But expect to see him with more of a flicking and shooting play style. That's going to be one shot for the tie game. Flakes getting a bit over aggressive in the corner this time. He caught a piece of OSM, but having no boost after being fully committed there was definitely a bit too much. He's asking himself, asking a lot of himself. Nice touch there by Flakes to keep this ball under control. He's got OSM completely outplayed with a fast dribble. Wow, Flakes is not messing around. A very nice transition downfield. OSM was expecting Flakes to come at him slowly. That's why he set himself up sideways, ready to challenge when Flakes gets a bit closer. But Flakes is really playing a lot faster than we've been seeing from him so far this tournament. Of course, neither of these players will be out despite their low standing. Oh dear, Flakes with an awkward open at shot, but he's missed it. All, all eight players will be progressing from league play into the playoff bracket. Their seeding, however, is dependent on how well they do in this league. Flakes right now not having a great run at it. OSM also on the lower end of the spectrum, but he has already played against Fairy and Scrub and Kuxer. So that would explain a couple of those losses. Sure that these guys would uh, both love and hate to give the gauntlet hero run a go. Winning from seventh or eighth position in the league would be an incredibly impressive feat. And I don't think that that's the number one thing that these guys care about. They want the money for just winning the whole thing. Flake slots in a third goal. And OSM caught out once again by Flake's newfound speed. OSM was not ready for Flakes to step forward there. He's completely caught flat-footed by a player who's had one of the strongest kickoffs in this tournament. He's missed another open net, though. Again, it was an awkward one, but it's still an open net, and he needs to be putting those in if he wants to win this game, as OSM is definitely going to get two chances to score here. He's going to take one off the ceiling. He might have to abort this mission, though. Unfortunately, lands on the ball and thus concedes possession pretty easily there. Flakes again is just going to walk this one into the net. Surely it's not going to be another open net miss. And OSM is down by three. This is the worst possible start for him. Extremely risky challenge there. A couple of the other goals that OSM's conceded so far this game, you could put them down to 
not expecting Flakes to play as quickly and as aggressively as he has so far. That was just pure carelessness by OSM. The angle he chose for the challenge did not really make any sense. Flakes has gotten to back off. He's almost at the target with a fake pop into volley. OSM still not able to get his offense working as well. And that is a big problem because Flakes has just put in a fifth goal. Half flip challenge, open net setup, and a demo as well. OSM is going to have to come back from four down if he wants to take game one. Of course, if Flakes can win this game, that would tie himself and OSM both on one win apiece. He could win this series, that is. That would be huge. It would also put a lot of pressure on Cux at the bottom of the table. Flakes, double touch attempt goes wide. Also missing the demo and the boost seal. OSM getting everything in that exchange. Now, Flakes gets to show what he's good at. And this is why he's such a high rated 1v1 player. When he can get in front. Oh no, you got to be kidding me. OSM almost own goals with a redirect. That would have been one of the more comical redirects uh, into your own net. I believe that there's a, an app for that. Get yourself in a not top 10 montage with Gift Your Game, commentated by me. <laughs> if, you, if you score a bad enough own goal, that would definitely have qualified. Like I was saying, Flakes is now in his comfort zone. And of course, a lot of players are when they're in front, but Flakes is especially so. This is what he loves to do. Sit back, make saves, and react to what his opponent is doing. And look at that once again. Setting up an opportunity. One more touch will do it. That is 6-1. OSM left standing absolutely still. And my goodness, that, that's a, that must be a new uh, addition that Sonics have made there. What was that? Party destroyed. Did I read that correctly? Never seen that one before. <laughs> wow. I mean, uh, in the past, people just left parties or what you, what you call it. Quit the party maybe, but dis party destruction. Is that what... Psionics have added in in the, in the latest patch. I'll need to look into that one. <laughs> I hope I didn't just make that up. I swear it said party destroyed. It did, It did, didn't it? Of course I say that, but no, none of you can actually uh, communicate with me right now. I am Johnny Boy of Christmas Past. Here's another goal for Flakes. Make it 7-1. And a nice goal at that. OSM is going to have to give up on this one. Think about... What he can do differently in game two and onward in the series, he wants to take Flakes back. First, get him under control, then think about beating him. This is the cleanest that Flakes has played, but still, the scary thing is that there's room to improve. Flakes, another flip reset. We saw him do this to Ixo. This time he gets stuck underneath the ball and OSM is able to make the challenge. OSM only getting one goal this entire game is a pretty big problem. Probably a bigger problem is that he's conceded seven. He's going to try to put in another one, but Flakes, again, stands in the way, keeps it out, and that's going to be game one in favor of the underdog. Game two, Flakes finally looks like he might have a really good chance to win a series. Of course, he came closest playing Ixo with the almost reverse sweep, but even then, never really got started as Ixo demolished him in game five. Oh my goodness, OSM! Upside down air roll shot, and the bar's gonna deny him a second time. This is really quite a problem now. He's get inside his own head if he keeps on hitting the crossbar like this. That's an open net now. Absolutely wide for OSM to smash it down the center. He will get a 1-0 lead. Bit careless there by Flakes, misjudging how close OSM was to the ball and how quickly he could turn around. But this shouldn't be too much of an issue for Flakes. He knows he's playing quite well today, and that's even winning 7-1.
while missing two open nets in the first game. Looking for a wall demo. Of course, it's pretty difficult to hit those if you're running out of boost, as Flakes was. OSM comes crashing in and shows him how it's done. Now he's got all the options in the world. Decides to try and cross over. In comes Flakes with a ball chase. That is, again, not what we're used to seeing from him so far this tournament. He's been playing very, very passively, very reactively. Now he's deciding to step up and prepare, perhaps, for OSM's play style. So OSM is also a player very, very familiar with the... 1v1 leaderboard recently. Flick is not going to do it if it's that straight down the middle and that slow. These guys will definitely be matching up against each other these days. Being, I think at the start of this tournament, rank 2 and 3 in Europe. Or if not 1 and 3. I can't remember which one of uh, these guys in Fairy Peak had the number one spot. That's a great interception by Flakes in the back wall. OSM looked on point with the rebound. Misses the boost pick up in the midfield, but he's got the back corner one to go to. Sights at that ball is not worth pursuing, though. The angle really wasn't there. He won't be too disappointed with that decision, because now he's got a much better position. More space in the midfield, but he needs to be careful with these infield dribbles. He's given OSM the strong side on all those challenges. In comes OSM with an air dribble. He has to go back to the side of the field, though. As the ball was going off target. Very low scoring game here. One of the lowest scoring games we've had so far in the entire tournament. Chance to, for OSM to take a 2-0 lead. I think that Flakes must have fallen over here. Because OSM's just walked it straight down the middle. Oh no, he's waiting for the boost to spawn in the midfield instead of backing off to the corner. Bad boost management there by Flakes. He is immediately punished. You know, between OSM last game and Flakes this game, one goal was scored. Luckily for the entire lobby, the other player stepped up and put a couple in at least. Flakes, Flake also looking lackluster. It's OSM tries to get him on the counter yet again. He's going to bounce dribble into the sidewall here, but OSM sees what he's trying to do. Gets a disruption touch and picks up 100 boost in the corner. And overall, that's a fantastically played exchange by OSM. Just that one little touch in the corner is all he needed to prevent Flakes from dribbling in field and punishing the momentary boost advantage that he had. OSM popping it high again. Flakes decides to stay grounded. Let's it bounce once. Where is he going to go from here, though? Maybe setting up one of those wave dash maneuvers that we saw Ixo use against him in their matchup. You know, I never really see m many other players having such regular success with those as Ixo. It's a double jump pop to the crossbar. OSM turning around and looking to go straight down the middle again. It's a pretty good flick in terms of distance, especially considering how much boost he has. The boys have just 50 50 again at the edge of the box. The ball's just bounced from left to right. And OSM can't do anything but watch it. Save to keep his clean sheet intact. 1 minute 15 of the clock. Blake's still trying to get involved in the second game. Needs to look out for the wall demo there. He did well. OSM was hunting. And again, OSM hunting for wall demos. Flakes paying really good attention here to OSM's position. With a minute left, he still hasn't put a ball into OSM's net. He managed to do it seven times last game. And about now would be a good time to do it for the first time in game two. OSM shutting down another attack effortlessly. And now he just needs to waste time. 41 seconds left. OSM looking for the ball to be up in the air as long as possible here. Precious seconds being wasted. Flakes also running out of boost. He's got a good bump onto OSM to stall him. Will get one more chance, but he's just ran the ball straight into OSM. That's just not good enough for Flakes. His first touch was so important there. And he lost control with that same first touch. Hang on though. OSM might be in an awkward spot. He's managed to save it into his own post. But Flakes is still here, turns around. OSM can't keep that one out. And with nine seconds left, it is not yet over. Tight cut there by Flakes. Nice turn at the edge of the box. Can he get a strong kickoff? It's actually one of the worst kickoffs that he could have possibly had. Not a real chance for him to grab boost on this play. And that's going to be it for OSM. One demo is all it needs. He might need to be careful though, he doesn't want to run that into his own net. Is he really 
goal hunting here. OSM with an incredibly brave move <laughs> as Flix could have turned that around and put it back in his own net. This time though, the plan works and OSM ties up the series. Game three. We're now in effectively a best of three. Both players on the board. Flakes still not on the leaderboard in terms of series wins. OSM got his first and only win in his last match that he played against Cox. He's just used a lot of boost there to miss a demolish attempt. Flakes has got 70 and he's waiting to get 100. That is such a Rocket League player thing to do. You know, 99 boosts and you still grab the 100 pad when you pass by. Yeah, don't laugh. I know you guys are all the ones who do that. I'm not going to lie, so am I. Especially if I've got a teammate coming behind me. Especially if I've got a teammate coming behind me who's also in team comms and asked for the boost. Flakes. Looking to stay away from OSM's bump and demo attempts. OSM's really just been as annoying as possible here. And he might have missed this. Indeed he has. After surprising Flakes by staying in his corner and getting an open net shot out of the exchange, OSM completely misses it. Now Flakes has got a much better position for himself and that save is really ideal for him now. But he's run straight into trouble in the midfield, OSM with a huge challenge and he will not miss this time. Great block on the outside lane there by OSM. He realized Flakes was trying to put it past him on that side. He got up fast enough to block what was the only avenue Flakes waited 4 minutes and 51 seconds last game before he scored his first goal. If I was his coach whispering in his ear right now, I'd be telling him, get a goal a bit sooner this game. That's probably what you need to try and get a better result at the end of it. OSM can't do better than a low shot this time. Flakes deciding to go back down to the ground after realizing he was getting hard beat to that ball. And oh my goodness, is that on target? It is now. OSM somehow manipulates this 50-50 in his favor. It looked so easy for Flakes to get it into the corner, but OSM's read his mind, put his car in the way, and gets his second goal. Just how far can this momentum swing work in OSM's favor? Of course, he'd love if he could continue it on for the rest of this series and three more after that, maybe finish off with five wins to his name. You want to get as good of a seeding going into the gauntlet bracket as possible. Flakes with a nice recovery there after initially taking himself away out of the game. And that's a fantastic challenge. OSM left for dead. As Flakes put one, puts one on the board with this time, plenty time left in the game. OSM was trying to set up a ceiling shot there, but Flakes is uh, definitely not going to let him do that if the ball's within reach. He's keeping an eye on this one. OSM had Half a chance to go for it if he had boost. Hold on a second. Flakes might just try and shoot this. He's going to have to say no to it. His first touch wasn't quite good enough. Now, a chance to see what Flakes does with a one goal deficit and some time on his hands. OSM, of course, one of the players who loves to just run the ball around the field and wait and see how his opponent reacts to being time wasted. Flakes. Good awareness once again of OSM's whereabouts. But he's not really getting too much out of his possession plays at the moment. This is a problem he faced against Ixo. Ixo is getting a lot more out of his plays than Flakes was out of his. But I'll tell you what, if OSM's going to give him passes as good as this one, we may indeed see a game five on our hands. Two minutes and one second left on the clock. We're all tied up in game two and indeed the series. OSM has the ball and plenty of boost to do something with it. Single jump. He's got Flakes way out of the play. I don't think he realized just how out of position Flakes was after that exchange. 
Or we may have seen an earlier shot. Flake smart pathing over the small pads. He might continue on here. Yes, he will. Sneaking in a demolish. And with OSM spawning on the far side, it looks like Flakes has got the goal. And there is the only randomness in the game. Giving Flakes a goal lead. If that had been a spawn on the other side, I think OSM might have been able to interfere. Hard to say. But as is, Flakes has the lead. And now this time, has the ball as well. Got the lead in game one and he was able to hold on to it. OSM didn't really look comfortable trying to fight back from behind against Flakes. Could have very easily been two goals up there. OSM was not ready to stop a good flick. Another great chance for, for Flakes, but he's put it wide, I believe. Oh, well, it was pretty close to going wide. OSM makes sure, though. And he's read Flakes pretty well here. Look at that by OSM. Not much boost in this back pocket. But he steps into the perfect spot. Flakes is trying to sneak that ball out wide. And that is exactly where OSM chose to be. All tied up yet again in game three. OSM with the fake challenge followed by the reverse challenge. He's not done that too many times this uh, series. But he has shown us a few times this tournament his secret strategy. The baboon challenge, just backing in there butt first. For the time being, he might not have to challenge. Will he be able to... Hold on to the possession for the rest of the game. He's setting up a boomer flick there, but he didn't have enough boost to get underneath the ball. And now Flakes, with all the boost, just wants to get his hands on the big round thing so that he can give a go at putting it in OSM's net. It is just going to be OSM with all the controller. Here comes the air dribble dunk attempt. He's got it pretty much dead in Flakes' box. I think Flakes would happily take overtime right now. OSM is almost able to keep it up, but over time, we go in game three. Winner of this, going one game away from taking the whole series. Flakes will get the first chance. This is massive for him. It's not the best first touch, but OSM is forced into a save. Flakes missing the boost seal in the corner, but OSM can't really go back for that right now. Flakes, oh my goodness, he's just left that one blind to go off his own corner well. Wave dash by Flakes. He decides not to go for a second one. Another fast turnaround, but OSM a really nice touch. Takes it down and under control. He, once again, he's not able to get that ball on top of his car though, like he was looking to do. That's some nice defense by Flakes off the back wall. He's fallen down into the corner boost as well. And he can wrong foot OSM here. OSM knows that. Doesn't want to get cut off. Sticks a challenge in as early as he could. He's scared of that rush challenge from Flakes. See all these early Flakes that OSM's going for. That's because Flakes has scored a few goals by rushing in. Again, OSM pulls the trigger early. Flakes is sitting back. He's trying to counter exactly that right now. One fake jump by Flakes. He's got OSM in an awkward spot, but OSM backwards again to get into position. Flakes the one who's slightly second best here. Boost is in OSM's control. The flicks are still just not good enough. There's been so many chances for OSM to win this. But right now, Flakes hangs on and again dodges a demo on the back wall. Flakes now looking to take it. OSM gets a slight touch, but he didn't get much on it. Flakes again. OSM forced into an awkward save, but this time gets the ball in a much safer location. Flakes though, he's just taking pot shots. One more is going to do it. A Flakes does take it in overtime. Fourth time lucky. OSM finally couldn't get the clear that he needed. And now he's got to win two. Or else Flakes is going to take this series.
probably not the result that most of us were expecting after what has happened so far in the Manfield Night 5K. But it was only a matter of time before Flakes got comfortable and decided to show everybody why he is one of the highest rated players in the world right now for 1v1. There's things like that. Waiting until the mistake comes in and putting the ball in an open net. Maybe this struggle that he's had up until now is that last bit. Actually putting the ball in the open net because he's had quite a few open net misses up until now. But the difference between a show match setting, between a tournament setting and ladder has always been pretty huge. Oh my goodness, Flakes with the perfect placement. It looked like the post might keep OSM safe at least for a little bit. But once again, Flakes just cuts in, feel wastes no time, and he's doubled up. He's really putting the pressure on OSM here. Who, albeit, you know, having a per almost perfect record this year in show match setting. You know, he's lost as many series so far in this tournament as he has all year in show matches, just two. Can he work this one in? I believe he can. Look at that OSM winning the battle of attrition. For a moment, it looked like Flakes might be getting his third goal, but OSM manages to get that pit maneuver on him and bring one back. Just a single goal in it now. And you don't expect this game to have too many goals without these guys are playing. They're trying to pick their spots very well. That's actually a reverse fake challenge by OSM. He's even one-upping his own metagame. A whole minute gone. Flakes still in the lead. Looking to keep the pressure on. He's trying to grab this boost that spawns. Really nice timing there. So he's just trying to keep the ball away from a position that OSM can counterattack while he steals the boost there. That's all he was trying to do. Eventually, he finds himself a lot more time and space to work with, but doesn't really do much with it. It's indecision again for Flakes. It's one of his biggest enemies. And not enough speed this time. OSM ties up the game. The nice shot across the goal. It was an aerial goal that Flakes saw coming, but he didn't see it coming early enough. That's really nice 50-50 by OSM. He may have been able to put that in with a half flip, but he decided not to go for it. Perhaps afraid to overcommit into Flakes' end. And he's just gonna run it around him for 3-2. Very nice ball control by OSM. Flake's actually turning the wrong way here, not expecting OSM to cut in field and then cut into the goal. That's three consecutive goals now for OSM. Flakes hasn't had much success this series with kickoffs as he did against Ixo. OSM has been very, very strong with his kickoff game. That's nullified Flake's one of the advantages I thought Flakes might have, but look at this again, the rush challenge for Flakes gets mixed in and it completely blends OSM's dribble. He was trying to set up another Flick and this time Flakes shuts it down. We're all tied up again. And Flakes with the first play, OSM fakes the challenge. Mind game by Flakes, he's got an open net now. Tries to put it in. OSM saves it. Heroics on the goal line for OSM. Flakes must have thought that that was the lead. Just waiting to happen. And he didn't have to wait long. Just another split second would have done it. But oh my goodness, OSM puts it in his own net, I believe. We have to take another look at this one. The margin for error was very small. It's either crossbar. It was a rebound. You knew it had to either be crossbar and in. Or a little bit of OSM on the way. Half the game remaining. OSM needs two games, not just this one. Like still winning possession on kickoffs. He might not be getting kickoff goals directly, but with how good these guys are at controlling the ball, that is a huge pressure play right from the kickoff. As Flakes turns the kickoff win into offensive territory and an air roll shot seals the deal two goal game now OSM not much boost to work in this kickoff goal Flakes will get back for it that's the problem with how much 
Oh, Boost OSM is investing in his kickoff. Is if he doesn't have any left over, how do you put it in the open net when the ball does sit up in front of you? One minute, 55 seconds left. OSM looking for the air dribble bump. Flakes, worst enemy, comes back to haunt him. This is how he lost against Ixo. This is also one of his most horrible ways to concede against Bluey. And now, OSM brings it out in game four to score his fourth goal. And now comes the ceiling shot. It's just getting bad from bad to worse for Flakes, but suddenly he finds the silver lining. He decides not to try and turtle this one in, as it is already rolling on target. The challenge does work. It looked like OSM might beat him to this one, but OSM just missed the ball. Disaster for OSM. He may have adapted his strategy. Initially, he's just thinking about shooting, but then he decides, I might need to go for a block here. Flakes is going up pretty quick. Now OSM just ran the ball into the wall. Flakes doesn't actually want to demo him here. He wants, to, he wants OSM to stay in his half so that he can put the ball into his net before OSM could get back. That's actually a really, really smart play by Flakes to not demo OSM. The demo was free, but he doesn't need to. The bump was, in fact, the better option there. And, you know, he almost screwed up the open net, but he did get it in eventually. And now he's just gone for a crazy all-in flick with only a three-goal lead. I'm not sure that this is quite the time to be going for uh Fancy plays, Mr. Flakes. Yes, you're on the verge of your first series win in the Manfield Night 5K, but you've got another minute and 11 seconds to go. You might want to hold on to that lead. At least a little bit longer. He's winning by three with 10 seconds left. It's a different story. Oh, he almost gets his three goal lead back. Crossbar in the post. Coming to play in. The result is OSM on the deck once again. I'd love to see more bounce dribbles by OSM, to be honest. This flick has not been doing much work for him this game, but whoa! That works. Somehow, OSM gets another favorable 50-50. He's just flown straight down on top of the ball here. Used all his boost. But for a good cause, one goal game, 50 seconds left. OSM's series life on the brink. But with how badly this tournament's been going for Flakes, at least the league play portion. He must be feeling pretty nervous right now. That is a great way to shake off those nerves. And he's going to make sure that the open net does not evade him this time. OSM all too slow on the turn there. He's doing his best oil tanker impression. And now with 33 seconds left, he's made this game twice as difficult. It might be about to get three times harder. Flakes is slow rolling this kickoff. He's actually given up on the open net. Maybe just deciding to let this one enter midfield play. And OSM's going to put it in for him. An incredibly strange ending to the game. <laughs> but Flakes and OSM have combined forces. And the result is 6-9 to nine in favor of Flakes. And a disaster for now for OSM. He's managed to get an opportunity off this kickoff. The shot's just not good enough. Like I was saying earlier, I would have loved to see more of a focus on ground shots from OSM when the Flakes started going wrong, but it's too late for that now. Flakes gets his first win. OSM has left the match. That's a GG. We've got five seconds left to watch how Flakes decides to celebrate. He's just gone and got his first win in the league. That's, that, that leaves Cux alone in the bottom. And OSM is tied. One win. Three losses apiece in terms of the series, just like it was in-game score.
just like that, Flakes picks up his first series win and overtakes OSM for 6th place in the league thanks to his superior game win-loss differential. That leaves Kuxer97 as the only player in the league without a series win to his name. He has only played 3 however and thus has 4 more chances to put that win on the board. Now, there is a chance for something special to happen tomorrow, on day 14 of the competition. Not only is Fairy Peak's undefeated streak on the line, but if Ocelon can defeat him by 3-1 or 3-0, he will take away the number one spot from Fairy for the first time since the league play began. I'm not sure many people will be putting their money on that one, but I do remind you that Ocelon is one of the few players to have ever beaten Fairy Peak in a 1v1 series. Beyond that, we have OSM, The Apprentice vs The Master Ixo on day 15, Scotland's Scrub Killer vs England's Bluey on day 16, and then the return of Kuxer97 on day 17 where he'll continue his hunt for his first series win against Flakes, who just got his. For now though, thanks for watching day 13 of the Manfield Night 5k. Hopefully after today you feel inspired to queue up for ranked ones yourself, at least until you lose two kickoff goals in a row and rage quit. Regardless, we'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place with another series. See you then, it's Fairy Peak versus Ocelon. Probably not the result that most of us were expecting after what has happened so far in the Manfield Night 5K. But it was only a matter of time before Flakes got comfortable and decided to show everybody why he is one of the highest rated players in the world right now for 1v1. There's things like that. Waiting until the mistake comes in and putting the ball in an open net. Maybe this struggle that he's had up until now is that last bit, actually putting the ball in the open net, because he's had quite a few open net misses up until now. But the difference between a show match setting, between a tournament setting and ladder has always been pretty huge. Oh my goodness, Flakes with the perfect placement. It looked like the post might keep OSM safe, at least for a little bit. But once again, Flakes just cuts in, Field wastes no time, and he's doubled up. He's really putting the pressure on OSM here. Who, albeit, you know, having a per almost perfect record this year in show match setting. You know, he's lost as many series so far in this tournament as he has all year in show matches. Just two. Can he work this one in? I believe he can. Look at that OSM winning the battle of attrition. For a moment, it looked like Flakes might be getting his third goal, but OSM manages to get that pit maneuver on him and bring one back. Just a single goal in it now. And you don't expect this game to have too many goals without these guys are playing. They're trying to pick their spots very well. That was actually a reverse fake challenge by OSM. He's even one-upping his own metagame. A whole minute gone. Flakes still in the lead. Looking to keep the pressure on. He's trying to grab this boost at spawns. Really nice timing there. So he's just trying to keep the ball away from a position that OSM can counterattack while he steals the boost there. That's all he was trying to do. Eventually, he finds himself a lot more time and space to work with, but doesn't really do much with it. It's indecision again for Flakes. It's one of his biggest enemies. And not enough speed this time. OSM ties up the game. The nice shot across the goal. It was an aerial goal that Flakes saw coming, but he didn't see it coming early enough. That's really nice 50 50 by OSM. He may have been able to put that in with a half flip, but he decided not to go for it. Perhaps afraid to overcommit into Flakes' end. And he's just going to run it around him for 3 2. Very nice ball control by OSM. Flake's actually turning the wrong way here, not expecting OSM to cut in field and then cut into the goal. That's three consecutive goals now for OSM. Flakes hasn't had much success this series with kickoffs as he did against Ixo. OSM has been very, very strong with his kickoff game. That's nullified Flake's one of the advantages I thought Flakes might have, but look at this again, the rush challenge for Flakes, gets mixed in, 
And it completely blends OSM's dribble. He was trying to set up another flick. And this time Flakes shuts it down. We're all tied up again. And Flakes with the first play. OSM fakes a challenge. Mind game by Flakes. He's got an open net now. Tries to put it in. OSM saves it. Heroics on the goal line for OSM. Flakes must have thought that that was the lead. Just waiting to happen. And he didn't have to wait long. Just another split second would have done it. But oh my goodness, OSM puts it in his own net, I believe. We have to take another look at this one. The margin for error was very small. It's either crossbar, it was a rebound. You knew it had to either be crossbar and in, or a little bit of OSM on the way. Half the game remaining. OSM needs two games, not just this one. Like still winning possession on kickoffs. He might not be getting kickoff goals directly, but with how good these guys are at controlling the ball, that is a huge pressure play right from the kickoff. As Flakes turns the kickoff win into offensive territory. And an air roll shot seals the deal. Two goal game now. OSM, not much boost to work in this kickoff goal. Flakes will get back for it. That's the problem with how much boost OSM is investing in his kickoff is if he doesn't have any left over, how do you put it in the open net when the ball does sit up in front of you? 1 minute 55 seconds left. OSM looking for the air dribble bump. Flakes, worst enemy, comes back to haunt him. This is how he lost against Ixo. This is also one of his most horrible ways to concede against Bluey. And now OSM brings it out in game four to score his fourth goal. And now comes the ceiling shot. It's just getting bad from bad to worse for Flakes. But suddenly, he finds the silver lining. He decides not to try and turtle this one in. As it is already rolling on target. And the challenge does work. It looked like OSM might beat him to this one. But OSM just missed the ball. Disaster for OSM. He may have adapted his strategy. Initially, he's just thinking about shooting it. But then he decides... Might need to go for a block here. Flakes is going up pretty quick. Now OSM just ran the ball into the wall. Flakes doesn't actually want to demo him here. He wants to. He wants OSM to stay in his half, so that he can put the ball into his net before OSM could get back. That's actually a really, really smart play by Flakes to not demo OSM. The demo was free, but he doesn't need to. The bump was, in fact, the better option there. And, you know, he almost screwed up the open net but he did get it in eventually and now he's just gone for a crazy all-in flick with only a three goal lead I'm not sure that this is quite the time to be going for uh, fancy plays Mr. Flakes yes you're on the verge of your first series win in the Manfield Night 5k but you've got another minute and 11 seconds to go you might want to hold on to that lead at least a little bit longer he's winning by three with 10 seconds left it's a different story Oh, he almost gets his three-goal lead back. Crossbar in the post. Coming to play in. The result is OSM on the deck once again. I'd love to see more bounce dribbles by OSM, to be honest. This flick has not been doing much work for him this game. But, whoa! That works. Somehow, OSM gets another favorable 50-50. He's just flown straight down on top of the ball here. Used all his boost. But for a good cause, one goal game. 50 seconds left. OSM's series life on the brink. But with how badly this tournament's been going for Flakes, at least the league play portion, he must be feeling pretty nervous right now. That is a great way to shake off those nerves. And he's going to make sure that the open net does not evade him this time. OSM all too slow on the turn there. He's doing his best oil tanker impression. And now with 33 seconds left, he's made this game twice as difficult. It might be about to get three times harder. Flakes is slow rolling this kickoff. He's actually given up on the open net. Maybe just deciding to let this one enter midfield play. And OSM's going to put it in for him. An incredibly strange ending to the game. <laughs> but Flakes and OSM have combined forces. And the result is 6-9. to nine.
in favor to Flakes. And a disaster for now for OSM. He's managed to get an opportunity off this kickoff. The shot's just not good enough. And like I was saying earlier, I would have loved to see more of a focus on ground shots from OSM when the Flakes started going wrong, but it's too late for that now. Flakes gets his first win. OSM has left the match. That's a GG. We've got five seconds left to watch how Flakes decides to celebrate. He's just gone and got his first win in the league. That's, that, that leaves Cux alone in the bottom. And OSM is tied. One win, three losses apiece in terms of the series, just like it was in-game score.